So I want to <clears throat> put on the record as well that uh, I think I was right about Acasio. Alejandra Acasio Cortez. <laughs> I think I was right about that, that that was a scam. Kind of a uh, setup for the Democrats to get a pretty face, someone, you know, refreshing that energizes the energizes the millennials. Eyes, fucking eyes, got a bobbish eyes, the fucking eyes. <laughs> right? Don't talk about the economic problem in this country. Talk about fucking eyes. Right? So it turns out she ran on a campaign of, uh, I'm from the Bronx. I'm a struggling waitress in the Bronx. Uh, uh, Alessandra Ocasio-Cortez. She's the, um, the guy who the the woman who beat Joe Crowley, 28 year old girl from the Bronx, quote the Bronx, right? She beat Joe Crowley, 10 10 uh, 10 term incumbent Democrat, right? And she ran on a platform of the Bolish Ice, and she also she also uh, she had some of uh, some of Bernie Sanders' uh, stuff going on, but she energizes energized the base. People like Susan Sarandon, who you know who we all respect and all, but. All these people were backing, backing her because she had a platform. But she lied. Evidence is in evidence is that she lied. What'd she lie about? What'd she lie about? She said she was from the Bronx, right? She said she was from the Bronx, right? Now she's from Westchester County. <clears throat> she said she was a poor person. You know, fucking bullshit. It turns out she grew up in Westchester County. Her father was a, an architect. She grew up in an upper middle class neighborhood. Now, Bronx and Westchester County, if you're not from New York, are right next to each other. But that's like saying the Upper East Side is East Harlem. <laughs> One is super wealth, beyond comprehension kind of wealth. Massive, unbelievable wealth. And 20 blocks away is a ghetto. Uh, so she, sk she fucking lied. She fucking lied. Liar. Right? The other thing about her is that she said... Um, what else did she say? Oh, she, she was anti-war. Oh, anti-war. She was a big anti-war. She had a whole platform on her website. And there's uh, investigative journalists that are un unraveling that, too. I haven't looked at it closely, but it turns out that she deleted all those informational pages off her website. So she's not anti-war. That's bullshit, too. Fucking liars. The truth trade! The truth trade! Oh, 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 oh. When the truth train, truth train comes, the truth comes out, right? So she lied about her, her, her poor upbringing. She played into the, 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 the ignorance of the poor people in New York City, right? She's from Westchester County, not fucking South Bronx, liar, right? She, she said she was anti-war, right? But she's not. She's a fucking, she deleted that whole thing from her page. It was a lie. Get you to get you to fucking focus on the social issues. Ah, nice. And he, the last one that is is I, I did a piece on uh, Kristen Gillibrand, my friend Joe. He's my friend. I I support Joe because he's my friend. I, there's there's video clips of Ocasio Cortez already saying that she would she would support any Democrat regardless of the issues. The evidence I saw it. I I watched the video. I don't know where it is, but you could search it. Alejandro Ocasio-Cortez saying that she's she would support any Democrat Hillary Clinton don't fucking matter as long as a Democrat All right, so she's she's crap piece of shit, right? Don't don't put any faith in this This is the last I'll say about it because I don't want to yeah, I hope she'll she won't she won't lose the election because it's clearly rigged They want her in there because they want to they want to energize them the kooky fucking stupid left That they wear and put pink pussy hats and the rest of the jerk off. <laughs> My name is Marcus Conti Investigative journalists on YouTube. Peace.